we talked about earlier, you have over 20 years of experience in marketing, yeah. and you've been across a lot of different companies from Disney to AT&T to Nickelodeon. And so as you moved and maneuvered throughout your career, how did you know what the right move was to make, even if it wasn't in sports marketing? Yep. So what my very first job out of college, I was blessed enough to work for another professional um, franchise. And I had, m my boss was incredible. Mm -hmm. I just looked up to her and I thought to myself, I'm like, when I grow up, I want to be just like her. And it was another right. basketball team? It was another basketball team. And I worked for a woman who was the only woman in senior management. And I thought, you know what? I want to be just like her. So I spent four years, four and a half years at that sports um, team and then moved on, went to work for Disney in sports. Um, that didn't work out just in terms of when I got there, it was very short lived the department that I was working in. Mm -hmm. I came back and I started working for, for the league. So I spent over 10 years in basketball and um, I thought to myself, okay, you know what? I, I don't want to pigeonhole myself in basketball. I really want to diversify my background. Mm -hmm. And that was that was the goal was because I wanted to be a marketer with a diverse background okay. right so then I made the very strategic move to go from working at the league office to going to work at Nickelodeon to really understand the media like the television aspect of it so look at Nickelodeon I learned how to market to kids but I knew that the end goal was my dream job was to be a director of marketing for a professional um, basketball team that was my dream okay um, and I had spent a few years at another media company and then I was just burned out. I was tired of commuting into New York. I was just, I was like, I want a job closer to home. And that's when technology really made, you know, a splash. And I got the opportunity to go work for AT&T. Okay. And went to work for AT&T where I really, really learned about technology, right? I learned about the third screen because nowadays people don't go anywhere without their cell phone. I was at AT&T, believe it or not, for two and a half years. Wow. I was working nine miles from my house. I had it pretty easy. I'd go to work at eight o'clock, leave at five o'clock. You know, it was just like, okay, this, this is good. I could do this. Um, and then that's when I got the call for um, the position, I got a call from the, a recruiter for the marketing position for Barclays Center. Okay. Um, and I was like, sure, sure, you know, I'll go talk to you. And I, knowing that I didn't have like the right qualifications. Um, but ironically, when I went for the interview, the woman who was the director of marketing for the Nets at the time had just resigned. Wow. So it was the same hiring manager for both positions. Wow. So um, I was actually given the opportunity where it was like, okay, you know what, you came in for this position, but this other position has become available, and they were they were they told me that they were looking at both you know candidates for both positions, and sure enough, two and a half weeks later, when I got the call about the um, director of marketing position for the team, I was ecstatic because I was like. Like I reached, like that I, yeah, that was my dream. Like this is it. I reached it, and you know, like dreams do come true.